Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good day in the market. Market's up about 700 points, uh, 779. Uh, good day in the market. Uh, a good day for s- several of our stocks, especially uh, Novavax. We had some news come out. We talked about that a little bit last night on the video. Uh, we had some news come out on that uh, as far as the testing goes, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, we'll take a look at our portfolio. Uh, did make some sales today and um, didn't buy anything green across the board. I don't like to buy when the days are green. So uh, we didn't buy anything, but we did make some sales. And uh, so we're going to take a look at those. Take a look at what's going on in the market tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Actually, it's Thursday, but we are closed on Good Friday in the market. So tomorrow is our Friday. So we'll see how that goes, see if it plays out like our Fridays do, where they usually sell off on Friday. Uh, this is a long weekend, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but we'll take a look at that uh, and just kind of talk about what we're going to try to do tomorrow. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at our portfolio. Get over there and take a look at that real quick. And here's our portfolio. As you can see, we did have a green day. Market was up 700 points. Uh, as you can see here, all our stocks are green. And uh, not just green, they're pretty, they're pretty deep green today. Uh, and if you take a look at the um, charts over here, you can see that the um, charts pretty much are green all day. Not sure what's going on with that little chart there on VTI, but uh, it's missing part of its day there. But the rest of it, you can see here, had a strong finish too on some of these. Uh, so we're going to take a look at these. Uh, big winner today is Novavax. Novavax up 15.30%. It was actually up uh, higher than that today, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. If you'll recall, we talked about, you know, if any news came out about the virus testing uh, vaccine, uh, that this would probably get a pop, and that's exactly what happened today. This morning, uh, some news came out. Uh, so that's what actually made this thing pick up on on that. Uh, here it is. Uh, identifies the COVID vaccine candidate human testing to begin in mid-May. So their animal testing is over. And uh, so they're going to do the uh, next month uh, phase one trial. So that's big news for Novavax. It did have a big day. <clears throat> As you can see here, it did uh, take off this morning after the open. Got all the way up to uh, 1825. And uh, we did do some selling this, this morning. Uh, the shares that we bought the other day, yesterday, we actually bought them. Uh, we paid... Uh, 1450 for those we sold those today for 1725 that is an 18.96 percent gain in one day and that is uh that doesn't happen very often that's what you call perfect timing that's a perfect trade almost uh, we didn't we didn't sell at the high but we made some pretty good money in one day 18.96 percent i'll take that all day long all day long i'll take that so uh that was good we did sell some other uh some other Novavax for seventeen fifty and eighteen dollars in another one of my accounts, and those uh, stocks were really cheap shares of Novavax. They were down in the three and four dollar range, so you're talking about two hundred percent gain on some of that. So uh, that that I just wanted to get some cash on the sideline. That's why I did that. I I don't doubt that this thing can keep going higher. But I always expect, you know, even when you have these great days, that there's going to be some kind of pullback at some time for you to get back in. Like, for instance, that we sold some today at $18 and $17.50. We could already get back in and be in better position there. But I'm still looking for this thing. It was $13.50, but I'm, I'm going to look for something maybe $14.50 or so around there, and it might, might even be $15.50 now that it's gone upside. We'll just watch it. We'll see how it does. Um, but right now it's on a roll, and uh, I won't be buying any while it's on a roll, um, unless something just changes. I don't like to buy stuff when it's going up. So that one again. Look at the, look at the volume. We did have some heavy volume today, uh, especially in the opening here. You can see the heavier volume here. Uh, Thirteen million shares traded, and normally eight eight million trades. So good day for Novavax. Good day for us. Got some cash on the sideline. Made some really good money on some shares we only had for a day. So that's always fun. 
All right, so we've got some other ones that are just doing pretty good here. We've got uh, 6% gains on ACB and EXAS. Uh, rest of them, you're looking at, and there's an 8% gain on MPC. MPC is uh, getting some, I think there's going to be some good news about the oil. Uh, I think I heard something about Russia maybe uh, agreeing to some uh, reductions in production. So look for oil to be up tomorrow, possibly. We'll see. We'll check that. Uh, but <clears throat> good day, a really good day in our portfolio. Uh, really been a good week, really, when you look at it. And the market has really come back pretty strong. Uh, I really was thinking this thing's going to pull back. And I'm still not sure it's not at some point. There's a whole lot going on with this economy that we really got to, you know, get some answers to as well on how, how quick that's going to pick up. And, but we'll see. That's a long ways, uh, probably another quarter or two before we really have any answers there. Um uh, as far as the futures go, we see here, let me go ahead and refresh this. Uh, this has been changing tonight. I've, I was looking at it earlier. We were green. Uh, now it looks like we've gone to uh, gone to uh, some red here, pretty flat. But again, this changes day, throughout the night. We don't always get a whole lot from this, but uh, uh, it's good to see that it's kind of flat. Maybe we'll have a flat day tomorrow. That would be a good way to end the week, not it end it in the red, but uh, if it's barely red, that would still be a good week. Uh, so uh, let's look at Asia. Asia, we've got some uh, uh, red in Nikkei, half, half a percent, and then you got Shanghai and Hong Kong, they're up about half a percent. So not nothing major going on there. Uh, our oil, oil is, um, looks like uh, we're up about 4% on the oil. Uh, so it did it did go up today oil again i believe there was some news about um uh, russia talking about doing some of those uh, cuts so if that's the case then you may see a pop tomorrow is the meeting uh between the uh russia and opec so we'll see how that goes uh, that's kind of what we're waiting on to see how that news goes tomorrow we'll get some answers tomorrow for sure uh, one way or another so um we'll look for that tomorrow um so, again, a good day in our portfolio. Let's just hope we can end the week on a, on a good note. Um, it was a great day for us. Uh, really, you know, didn't expect that news to come out as quick as we talked about, but, hey, we'll take it. It was a, uh, just what we expected it to happen, and it's always nice when you get stuff like that right. Um, we're going we're gonna to watch Novavax, though. Novavax is one that's been on a tear. I mean, this thing has done well. Uh, and it's really uh, helped us come back with this down market. Uh, actually, got a pretty good, pretty good uh, run going here within the portfolios as well. So uh, things are looking a lot better than they were a month ago. We can definitely say that, and uh, that's a good thing. Uh, that's that's what happens with these markets. You know, like I said, it drops. Uh, people start panicking, kind of snowballs. Sometimes it's the other way around. You see, it starts to pick up and people start buying back in and things go up too fast and they have to pull back. Uh, so that's that's still what I'm waiting on. I've got cash on the sideline now. feel really good about it, about 30% cash in both portfolios. And so that's where I like to, I like to kind of stay around that 30, 25% level on my cash. That way when there are dips, I've got something to go in there and buy with. Uh, we did sell uh, SPY today. Uh, for a 4% gain, we had it for about a week, uh, I mean about four weeks, so uh, sold half of it. We still got some that we didn't get the cost average like that uh, in one of my portfolios, so we're still holding on to that one. We're still a little bit behind on that, and that just shows you that power of cost averaging. Is when, you don't, when you don't get the bottom and it goes down further, if you believe in that stock, you want to cost average it if you've got the cash and, and you, you know, if you feel like you can put the cash to work. Uh, cost averaging is the way to go if you still believe in the stock that you purchased. Uh, it helps you out and it helps it turn around happen a lot quicker. All right, so uh, tomorrow we're going to watch the market. It's probably going to be a little choppy. Uh, the, like I said, the long weekend coming up, but uh, we'll be looking for some bargains if this thing's red tomorrow. Uh, we don't have any DIA. I'd like to get some more of that if it goes down, you know, a thousand points or something like that. Um, Spy will jump right back in if it if it drops real heavy tomorrow, um, and uh, we might start cost averaging a little bit on the other side that we weren't able to cost average as much on, 
now that we have cash on the side. Uh, but I don't like to I don't like to do anything on a green day as far as purchasing shares. I just don't hardly ever do that. I like to, like to, I like to try to buy on the bottom even if it's for a day. So uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, appreciate you watching the videos. Appreciate you subscribing. Uh, the subscriber just picked up. We got another subscriber. Really appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that button in the, in the corner there. If you, if you haven't subscribed, really would appreciate it. But other than that, have a great day tomorrow. And uh, have a great good Friday uh, and a great Easter weekend. And I'll be talking to you probably Sunday night. And uh, we'll get back with you then. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. To subscribe, click the button in the right-hand corner. Thank you.